Hi, in this video I will show you how to create such a part in Plasticity. I will start a new project. And here we will begin by creating a box. Select the center box command. To select this command, hover over it with the left mouse button, press the left mouse button, and then, while holding down the left mouse button, hover over the command. Now, place the center of the box at the origin of the coordinate system. Here the snap has been activated, click with the left mouse button, and we have placed the center of the box at the origin of the coordinate system. Now, I press tab to specify the dimensions of this box. Here, I enter 150, and here 150 as well, and I press enter to confirm. Now we add an extrusion to specify the height of the box. Press the H key on the keyboard and enter 40 millimeters. Press enter to confirm and enter again to finish this command. I will turn on the edge visibility here. Now we select the four corners of this box. We do this with the shift key. And here we add a radius of 50 millimeters. So we press the D key and enter 50. Hit enter and enter again. And we've added the fillets. Next, we select the bottom edge of this solid. Here we switch to edge selection. Press the Alt key and select the entire chain to select the entire bottom edge. And here we add a radius of 30 millimeters. So we press the D key, type 30, hit enter, and enter again, and we have created something like this. Now switch to face selection. Select this face and select the hollow, a solid command. And here we specify the wall thickness, and we will set it to minus 4 millimeters. To do this, we press the D key, enter minus 4, hit enter, and hit enter again to finish this command. And we have something like this. Now we will create more parts of this solid. First, we will create a construction line. Select line drawing and draw the line so that it starts at the origin of the coordinate system. And so that this line is along the x-axis. Just hover the cursor so that this line is aligned with the x-axis. Press tab and enter 30. Hit enter, and we have such a line. It is a construction line. Now let's set the view to the side. We can turn off the visibility of the solid so that it doesn't obstruct the view. Once again, we select line drawing, and now, as the starting point of this line, we point to the end point of this construction line. Next, we press the tab key. Set the length of the line to 50 millimeters, and then hit tab and set the angle to 60 degrees. Press enter and we have created such a line. Now this line will no longer be needed, so we can either delete it or hide this line. Next we will create two circles whose centers will be located at the endpoints of the line. Select circle drawing and draw the first circle in this place. Just note that this circle was drawn in such a way that the sketch plane on which the circle will be created is perpendicular to this line. I don't want to do it this way. So for now, I'll press escape and I'll set the top view. Now I choose circle drawing and hover over this point on the line. Here I draw a circle with a diameter of 15 millimeters. So I press tab and enter 15, press enter to confirm. Now we draw the second circle, and here we hover over this point. The snap has been activated. Click with the left mouse button, then press tab and enter 10 to specify the diameter of this circle. In this way, we have drawn two circles that lie at the ends of this line. This line will also no longer be needed, so we can hide this line. Now select the areas of these circles. We do this with the shift key and choose the loft command here. This way we've created such a solid. Click OK to confirm. 
Now this solid is selected. Select the radial array command to add a circular pattern of this solid. Place the center of the array at the origin of the coordinate system and as the number of elements, enter 3 and click OK to confirm. Next, turn off the visibility of the circles and turn on the visibility of this solid. We can join these solids. Select all the solids here in the elements list or switch to solid selection and using the selection box, select all the solids. Press the Q key, then press Q again to activate the union solid operation and click OK to confirm. Now click here with the right mouse button, left click here and click show edges to hide the visibility of the edges. With this button we can turn off the visibility of the grid and this way we've created something like this. Of course the goal of this lesson was not to create exactly such a solid but I wanted to show you a few interesting operations available in plasticity using this simple example. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.